What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark and this is 360 Finance. In today's video, we're going to be going over my CFA level two results and I regret to inform you that I unfortunately did not pass CFA level two. This might be a bit of a shorter video, but we're just going to go through uh, my scoring by section. I'm going to reflect a little bit on where I think I went wrong. Uh, you know, maybe where I, I thought I went wrong in my habits and then ultimately let you guys know what's next for me and uh, where I go from here, essentially. So as most of you know, level two is much more difficult than level one. Um, you have more so these these long vignettes, which are uh, uh, situational based questions, which are, are pretty long and have multiple paragraphs. There's still multiple choice, but they're a lot more difficult in nature. This was a, was a tough one for me because I did spend a lot of time studying for this. I spent over 350 hours studying for this exam, but here's essentially my, my performance by topic area. So let's just go one by one and, and just kind of look through and I'll kind of explain where I thought I went wrong here. So first topic is ethics and professional standards and I scored over 70% in this section. For level one, this actually wasn't the, the best section for me, but I turned it around for level two and I actually did pretty well here. So I think this is probably one of the easier areas where you should be scoring easy points and I think I demonstrated that I was above 70%. For quant methods, this was something that I struggled a little bit with in the studying. Um, I'm just not a statistician to be honest and there's a lot of complex terminology in there and, and interpretation, but it looks like I scored somewhere between 60 and 70 percent so not bad economics i was a little bit surprised that uh, i was down by 50 percent and maybe this is because i neglected the topic a little bit because i felt so comfortable with it but you can see that confidence interval i could have been up at 70 percent could have been down at 30 percent so kind of disappointed in the economic score FRA, I was pleasantly surprised that I was above 70%. That was has always been kind of a trouble area for me. Above 70% in what I thought to be one of my tougher areas. Corporate finance, I had a feeling this one was probably going to be tough for me. This one in particular in portfolio management. When I was studying, you know, level one, this was easy to get by because a lot of what you see in corporate finance and portfolio management is in university, or at least it was for me based on the courses I took. I struggled a bit with level two for corporate finance and portfolio management. Um, so I was disappointed in both those scores. And you can see corporate finance right on that 50% mark kind of disappointing equity was probably the biggest disappointment for me in the entire exam since I had scored over 90% in level one on equity to see this well below 50% I mean that one hurt and that one stung a bit so I didn't necessarily neglect equity either because I know it was one of the bigger sections so I thought I was doing well in the practice exams and in the mock questions and all that stuff but yeah turns out to equity didn't go in my favor so for level one, my two worst subjects were fixed income and FRA. And uh, it turns out that uh, uh, fixed income is still probably one of my worst subjects. <laughs> but the thing is, I spent so much time on fixed income that I raised it all the way up to a 50%, whereas I kind of neglected these other sections here, which you can see that are below that. And uh, that really came to fruition, unfortunately. So still need to improve fixed income, no doubt. It wasn't my worst topic this time around, which was kind of surprising. Um, I definitely didn't feel good about it going into the exam. Derivatives, I knew I struggled on this one. Derivatives is, is a tough one. I didn't do horrible on this in level one, but I knew for level two, I was probably going to struggle with this one. It uh, When I was studying, I was not getting a lot of questions correct in derivatives, so I'm not surprised at all that uh, this one was really low. I obviously need to work to improve that as it was my lowest score for the entire exam. Coming out of the exam, I knew that I did horrible on derivatives. Like I. I almost guessed on every single question for derivatives. So that's something I need to fix big time when I rewrite this exam. Alternative investments, another big disappointment. When I was doing practice exams, when I was doing the practice questions, I was killing alternative investments. So to see this below 50%, um, you know, disappointing, that hurts. And uh, I don't really know what to say. I was, I thought I was going to do really well in alternative investments, but you can see below 50%. And then portfolio management, this one was kind of tough. Again, for level one, portfolio management, corporate finance, you can kind of just, if you took finance in university, you can kind of breeze through it. For level two, I definitely struggled studying for this one. And I don't know what exactly it was. It just, for some reason, I couldn't grasp the concepts. So ultimately, pretty disappointed in my performance on this exam. I do plan to retake it. I don't know when exactly I'll retake it. The early registration for February 2022 expires August 10th, so I have a couple days to kind of decide that. I don't think I'm gonna make a run for November, and the reason is I just want a break. Uh, <laughs> I've been grinding pretty hard for, for a couple years here. Uh, I just got to, or took on a new position at work. I got a lot going on in my personal life, and uh, you know, I just wanna take that couple months rest so that I can start gearing up again in October for February 2022. So I do plan to retake this exam. 
Um, it was pretty disappointing. I am very upset with the score that I got, and especially in you know in equity, in alternative investments, in economics. Those are you know areas where I thought I was going to do well. I knew that fixed income, portfolio management, and derivatives were probably going to probably be my worst, and it looks like they work, except for fixed income. I don't know what happened here. I just probably got lucky on a couple questions, honestly. Anyways, I'll probably retake this retake level two February 2022. Um, kind of a disappointing outing. If I can just self scout myself and kind of reflect on what I think I did wrong. Um, you know, I clearly put in lots of time for this exam. And uh, where I think I went wrong is I think I focused too much on practice questions, instead of trying to understand the underlying concepts. And I did this for level one. But as we all know, level two is a bit of a different beast. Also, I think that over the, the 350 hours that I put in, maybe not all of them were quality. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, I had my phone, let's say, in the room, or I was in the room where somebody else was watching TV, or I had, let's say, Netflix on in the background. Not all of these hours might have been quality. So that's something when I'm self-scouting myself and I need to change when I rewrite this exam. I need to make sure every hour is quality. I need to eliminate distractions completely. And I really need to focus on the areas which I did very poorly uh, this go around. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for the video today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Best of luck to everybody on their CFA journey. As you can see, it's not easy, uh, you know, spent over 350 hours on this and I still did poorly in a variety of sections. So uh, just make sure all the hours you're getting in are quality. Uh, make sure this exam is for you because it's a big time commitment and it is actually pretty expensive, you know, uh, the, you know, thousand dollars USD for standard registration and then add, you know, the cost of books plus the, the prep providers, it gets expensive. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you guys did in your exams, whether it's level one, two or three, would love to hear from you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.